Hey, what's going on, you guys? This is Madam, and I'm coming back to you once again. This time, we're going to go over to NBC News, and uh, this is in the U.S. News column. Human remains found nearly 25 years ago in Kentucky ID'd as those of an FBI fugitive. Two fishermen found the body parts wrapped in tire chains and anchored with a hydraulic jack in the lake in 1999. The article was done by Natalie Keynes, and it says, In 1999, two fishermen in Kentucky found human remains wrapped in heavy tire chains and anchored with a hydraulic jack in the lake. With an aid of an advanced DNA technology, state police on Monday identified the remains of those of Roger D. Parham, an FBI fugitive who was 53 years old when he fled a federal arrest warrant in Arkansas in connection with an alleged R of a minor in 1998, according to the Bureau records. Kentucky State Police said Parham's death is being investigated as a homicide. Uh, yeah, if you get found like that, buddy. And uh, this is Roger Parham right here. It says authorities believe Parham fled Arkansas and was possibly headed for Mexico after he was released on bond with conditions to appear in court at a later date on the R charge, according to the FBI. The bond was revoked when he failed to appear and a federal arrest warrant was issued on a charge of unlawful flight to avoid prosecution. Kentucky State Police said multiple attempts were made over the years to identify the remains found in the lake, Barkley, about 200 miles southwest of Louisville. Traditional investigation techniques were used when the remains were discovered in 1999, and the body parts were exhumed in 2016 for further examination. Despite extensive efforts using DNA technology, dental examination, forensic pathology, and other advanced forensic testing, the victims remained unidentified, Kentucky State Police said in a news release. And this is a 3D model of the unidentified person, which is, you can kind of say spot on. Let's see. Mm, okay, well, I mean, yeah. Kentucky State Police said it began working earlier this year with a private laboratory specializing in forensic genealogy. The lab Oldham, I apologize if I mispronounced that, Inc., gained notoriety for helping to identify the girl with the scorpion tattoo who washed up beaten and strangled on a beach in Staten Island, a borough of New York City 30 years ago, and a pair of human legs were found on the side of the road in Montana, along with numerous other cold cases. Genealogy testing examines people's uh, geomomes, I think I said that right, to find their ancestral roots and link them to relatives according to Orpham, the website testing of the Lake Barkley remains led to a person who was related to Parham Kentucky State Police said <coughs> submitted their own DNA in one of those store board kits Dean Patterson an investigative lieutenant with the state police post that Mayfield said, The crazy thing is you may do genealogy testing today and not get anything. Then six months from now, if somebody submits one of those kits on their own, you may get a hit. It's really a chance. Patterson said Parham's DNA was entered into the National Missing and Unidentified Persons System. Uh, NamUs in 2016, which helped Orham's lab find the match. Parham's relatives in Oklahoma have since been notified that his body was found. And that is the end of the article, kind of a cold case. 
but given the situation of what this man was accused of and how he took flight one can only wonder if you know the universe said don't worry about it i got this one you know i mean people have different views about certain crimes and one of these crimes that he committed is of a great offense to many people and you know some people may take it as hey he got his justice the universe stepped in the most high the most high god stepped in you know uh whatever you choose to you know follow and you know took care of the situation for itself will they ever find the people responsible for the undoing of parham who knows it may be another 20 30 60 120 years before they find that given the advancement in dna technology it is very possible that they you know will even find anyone but to be honest though i don't need to say it you have your own discernment you have your own judgment it is what it is but with that being said you guys i definitely would like to know how you feel about this in the comment section so come down chop it up with me i love to hear from you and um thank you so much for watching this video i truly do appreciate it don't forget to like subscribe and share and with that you guys i will get with you in the next one